Hi, this is Vicky from the Spellbound Bee Company and in this video I'm going to show you how to do odd count peyote. This stitch is really useful if you want to do things like make long strips that you can use to cover carrier beads, which we will cover in a separate video. I'm working here with an oversized needle and double thread so that you can see it on the video because I'm working with larger beads to make it easier to see. So we're going to start by picking up the beads that you need for the first two rows. So to cover a carrier bead, you need seven beads, so we'll work with that. Six, seven. Okay, so slide these down to the end of your thread, where I've got a keeper bead just to stop the beads sliding off the end. It will help with tension. So then the next row, you've got, uh, you're going to just work peyote stitch as normal. So on one end of the row, you've got a nice turn, and on the other end, you've got a fiddly turn. So that's the nice turn out of the way. Let's just pick up a bead and go through it as you would in regular peyote. Now, when you get to this second end, this is where you have to have a slightly alternative thread path. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the bead for the end of the row. So make it a bit easier for you to see. I'll pick up a pink one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come through the purple bead from the row below back towards the work. And then we have to, that's going to hold the bead in place. And then we have to turn the needle around because the bead is in the wrong, the needle is in the wrong place for working. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back through the purple bead here the single one and then the, the next one along on the row below like that and then we're going to go through the yellow bead the purple bead and back out what is essentially the first bead of the row of the first of the beads that you put on to start with and then back through the pink bead and you're in the correct place to start the next row so the next row of beads we'll pick up and work as normal. So one, two, three, there, and then again we've got a nice turn. So that's straightforward because you've got your bead to go into when you go round. Just make sure you, it's a bit harder to do with these larger beads, just make sure you keep pinching your work just so that you can see everything is holding in place. Okay, and again we're at the awkward end. So Again, you come through your bead. Now here you've got a little bit more beadwork to work with, so you don't have to go quite so far back into the beadwork. So come through. And then go back through. And then back through that one on the end. And there's another row completed. So, once more for look. Go through. Whoops. On. It will help your tension as well if you make sure you pull every bead into place before you add the next one. This is something I will tell you to do, but I'm sure you'll see me not doing. So, do as I say, not as I do. And back through. Two. Three. And then again on the turn, come through the bead on the end of the previous row back towards your work. And then go. Now it doesn't matter whether you go into this one or this one because you're going to go through them both. So I'm going through, through, and through that yellow, 
in out through the pink and back through the bead that you added last. And that is Odd Count Peyote.